man labeled things as superior and, and inferior certain tasks are considered superior and very good others are considered inferior and that's why there is also fear that if you you can be blackmailed that if you don't do certain things that you will fall into the inferior category or you do certain things then you will fall into the superior category so why does this division exist this division two can be false useless or a very relevant division usually tasks activities are divided into inferior and superior based on convention morality things that have nothing to do with the facts of living but there is another way another criteria on which this division distinction can be made which is anything that pushes you deeper into suffering is inferior and anything that brings you out of the daily heaviness and suffering is superior that is the only worthy distinction that can be made but we do not do that we decide on something as superior because everybody has usually taken it to be superior there is no sense of intelligent discrimination that we apply to it vivek is missing hmm but when it comes to your life use this as the criteria if it pushes me deeper into suffering if it pushes me further away from my essential peaceful nature then it is an inferior activity then it is an inferior companion then it is an inferior society whereas whatever relieves my suffering and brings me closer to my peaceful nature is superior as kabir has said that when you start waking up your suffering increases So how do I Your suffering does not increase you become more honest about it you are already suffering but you don't acknowledge it don't you see how we remain shut and closed about our condition how we do not want to admit it to even ourselves it is just that when you gain the strength to confront your own actual situation then you also gain the strength to acknowledge that your actual situation is quite bad it is not as if suffering increases it is just that you come into contact an honest contact with the suffering that there already is hm suppose you have a wound in the body you can keep taking pain killers tranquilizers and you can keep the wound covered and then there comes a stage when you say enough of this on dishonesty i do not want to hide it anymore i will take a look at it now in taking a look at it the suffering hasn't really increased but you have now acknowledged it you are now not trying to pretend as if it is not there hmm? so why does it happen that uh, people consider guru just as a body because you consider yourself just as a body when you have a deep belief that only the material is real 
only that which your eyes show to you is real then you take the guru to just as a body then you impose upon the guru all the bodily attributes that you have then you ascribe to the guru all the thoughts and emotions and inclinations and intentions that you usually have 